Hi friends, welcome back to the Daily Grace channel. My name is Katie and we are so happy you've decided to join us today. Today we are talking about five ideas that you can implement for Sabbath rest. The idea of Sabbath is mentioned several times throughout scripture, but to give you a clear understanding of what that actually means, let us first look at Genesis 2 verses 1 through 4, which says, And on the seventh day God finished his work that he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work that he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy. This is the origin of the Sabbath, the day of rest. We see here that even God himself rested on the seventh day after making all of creation. We then see another reference to Sabbath and a deeper call to practice and uphold it in Hebrews 4 verses 9 through 11, which says, So then there remains a Sabbath rest for the people of God. For whoever has entered God's rest has also rested from his works as God did from his. Let us therefore strive to enter that rest so that no may fall by the same sort of disobedience. While reading these scriptures, we must also keep in mind that as followers of Christ today, Christ's death and resurrection is the fulfillment of the Sabbath rest discussed in the Old Testament. While taking a day of Sabbath rest is still so beneficial for us, our ultimate rest is found in Jesus Christ and the grace we are given because of his sacrifice on the cross. We also know that the Sabbath can look different for many people as some rest and connect with our Heavenly Father different than others. So today our goal is to give you some attainable and easy ways you can intentionally practice Sabbath rest in this season. Let's jump into it. Tip number one is don't use technology. We make a habit out of being on our phones, watching television, working on our computers. So taking a day to shut off all technology is a great way to minimize distractions and intentionally fill your time with something other than technology. Swap out that scrolling for something that will truly give your mind and heart rest. Tip number two is to get outside and enjoy creation. God has given us creation to rejoice over and enjoy. Spending time to take a walk, go to the park, or travel to your favorite nature spot is an opportunity to experience the creation God has made. Tip number three is to spend time with others. If you are someone who rests well in the company of others, a day of rest is the perfect time to enjoy activities with your family or friends. Even if you don't have children, getting together with other loved ones is a refreshing time of fellowship. The busyness of our work can keep us from spending intentional time with others. So a day of rest is the perfect opportunity to form meaningful friendships and to make memories with your loved ones. Tip number four is to incorporate spiritual discipline. Because the Sabbath is a gift from God, taking the opportunity to incorporate God's means of grace in our day is a way to honor and glorify Him. This can look like reading a portion of scripture as a family, reciting a liturgy, or even singing a worship song. Taking time to worship and pray lifts our hearts in gratitude for His gift of rest. And the final tip, tip number five, is to clear your schedule. As hard as it may be, if you are someone who needs to just relax and do nothing to truly rest, clearing your schedule is essential. That coffee date can wait, the cleaning can be done tomorrow, and all your tasks and to-dos will be waiting for you. Take one day to simply just rest and be with yourself and God. And there you have it. Those are five simple ways that you can practice Sabbath rest this week. We hope you take the time to implement one or multiple of these tips. And if one of them particularly stood out to you as something that would help you truly rest, let us know which one it was in the comments below. Thank you again for joining us, friends, and we will see you next time.